Hello everyone, it's Dawn here and welcome. And I've put my cup in the wrong place, but that's all right. We'll just shove it up there. Pardon me. Right, we'll carry on. It's good to see you again. And today we continue with our theme of boats and harbour themes. And we're going to do this little harbour wall and the posts and we're going to do the reflections. And we're going to do the posts first. And the reason there's a reason for that. Normally you might think, oh, well, let's do the wall first. But we're going to do the posts first so that when we do this wall, it will look like it's coming in front of it. So we're just going to use any brown will do. I'm, I've decided that my posts are going to be wooden posts. And I think they usually are. So we're going to do wooden posts just like this. Very simple shading. You won't have any problem with this before. If you've seen any other of my videos on this channel or any other watercolour videos, you shouldn't have any trouble with this at all. This should be fine for you. And for this one, we're going to leave them unblended. We're not going to put any water on this one. Or well, not for this bit anyway. We will when we do the wall, when we come to the wall. But for this one, we're going to leave them proud, which means we don't blend them with water. We just leave the pigment or the pencil on the actual paper, but we don't blend it. That's called leaving it proud, which I believe is a term that generates or originates from woodwork. So I'm told. I'm sure someone will let me know if that's not right. So anyway, that's what we do. We're going to start with that and that's all we're going to do with the posts for now anyway. And then we need two tones of an earth red. I'm going to use Indian red and burnt sienna, but whatever, if you haven't got two tones, just use an ordinary brown and any earth red that you've got. That'll be absolutely fine. We can adapt. And we're going to do the harbour wall next. And I'll let you into a little secret with this in a minute. Well, it's not really a secret, but a tip. Once we've got this first colour on, it doesn't matter which way you do it. As long as you've got two tones, any brown, even if you've got one ordinary brown and one earth brown or ready brown, that's absolutely fine. Don't worry about it. But I'll let you into a little tip once we've got this first base coat done, or this base coat done. We need to make sure that this wall doesn't look like it's floating on the sea because that will look very strange or floating along the harbour. And what we do to avoid that, when we get to the base of the harbour wall, we use the same pencil, but we press on a lot, lot harder. So we use more of the tip of the pencil and we press a lot harder so that you've got that lovely dark section along there. And that, because once you've got there, that's where most of the water will hit it. This is a harbour, so the water will be constantly hitting this bit here. So it will look dark, it'll fade, it'll get warped. It'll generally change colour because of the constant water hitting it. So that's why that's dark and it will stop it from looking like it's floating on the top. So there's a bit of a tip for you. And then I'm going to use my second earth red, already brown. And we're going to do more or less the same thing but this one because it's so strong it's quite a strong one it's a sort of darker browny color it's more brown than red i'm not going to shade this one on quite as strongly i'm going to do a lighter shading and then in just a few moments we're going to blend it with water and again this bit down here it won't show terribly much or terribly well but we are going to just make it a bit darker nothing too extravagant that'll do for now and then I'm going to take a round brush, put some water on and dab off the excess. And we are going to just blend that across. And as you can see, doing it like that blends the two colours together and you get a bit of a texture. So the texture of the paper is showing through, which is what we want with a wall. Any structure, it will very rarely, if ever, be totally smooth if it's a structure. So we need to create texture and that's what we do when we blend two layers one on top of another in pencil we create texture and if you want more texture you don't put as much water on so if you wanted that to look even rougher just don't wet it as much now i did say we were going to do reflections and indeed we will and the most predominant or widely seen is this ready color here this ready brown so what we're going to do here we're going to do the reflections, but we're going to shade them in a horizontal manner and do it like this, 
but don't do it very strong, just in this sort of wavy pattern. So it looks like the water, the surface of the water, or the ripples, or the ripples in the water, is disturbing the reflection and it makes it blurred. So we'll do that and then you won't see much of the post reflections but if we start it here just slightly above and go vertical keep them vertical and keep them blurred and that will make the reflections look wet if you keep reflections vertical and blurred it will make the water look wet so there's another little tip for you and we're nearly through with this actually and we're going to do one final thing i'm going to share one little tip with you which most pencil artists probably won't because they might not think of it to be so what I'm going to do, I'm going to move my water out to the way just a little bit and I'm going to bring this in. Now this is acrylic gloss medium. I know we don't usually use acrylic mediums in watercolour, especially pencil, but I'm going to. And I'll tell you why. What you do, in fact it's probably a good idea to wet the brush first, just a little, and then just dip your brush in the gloss medium. And I'm going to use a flat or a filbert brush for this, but That'll do. A flat or a filbert is best for this, because what we're going to do, we're just going to stroke it across there, not too much at any one time, because we might obliterate it or wipe out the pencil, and we certainly don't want that. But can you see what it's doing there? It's actually enhancing our reflections. So if you use an acrylic gloss medium, you will enhance your reflections. Now, I'll let you into another little tip here. Today is full of tips. If you haven't got acrylic gloss medium, Use PVA glue and just water it down a little bit and it'll do more or less the same thing. It might not be quite as good, but it'll do more or less the same thing. So let me just pop that to one side. So now we have our harbour wall and our reflections and our gloss medium to enhance the reflections. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. And please do join me for the next one. And until next time, thank you for watching. Take care and bye bye for now.